What's up everybody, Arctic Pirate here, and today we're gonna play a little Freya in the dual lane, and oh man, we pop off guys, but before we get into that, it's time to play Smite's most favorite game. Who's that? Smite God. Y'all know how it works by now, I'm gonna play a clip of an ability. The first person to guess that god correctly down in the comments wins a free skin code. Here's that clip. That one's pretty easy, good luck to everybody. Now I'm gonna start out with Hunter's Blessing, Emerald Ring, two healing potions, two mana potions, and then build into Shoes of the Magi, Hasten Ring, Demonic Grip, Spear of the Magus, Bancroft's Talon, Telekine's Ring, Purification Beads, and Blink. Next up, we have to go over her passive, and I really see her kit being changed in the future. She definitely needs a nerf, but her passive is super good. Mystic Warrior. Freya's melee basic attacks heal her for 6% of her maximum mana every successful basic hit, and her ranged basic attacks heal her for 2% of her maximum health per successful hit. It, insane good passive. Northern Lights is her one and is her big damage dealer. Freya empowers her weapon, making her next successful basic attack that hits an enemy within five seconds deal bonus magical damage in an area around the enemy. Enemies hit by the explosion are also slowed for two seconds, minions take half damage from the explosions, and gods take 25% damage from any explosions after the first hit. Uh, basically, it, it pierces through everybody and does a ton of damage in a huge area. Next up, we have her two Aurora Blade. Now, it's written kind of weird, so I'm just gonna make it easier for you. Basically, she switches between a melee basic attack and a ranged basic attack. The ranged basic attack pierces through minions and stops at the first god hit, but doesn't deal bonus damage. Her melee basic attack does deal bonus damage, and it's just that simple. You can switch between ranged or not, and with that passive giving her insane amount of mana sustain, you can just shoot as many of those laser beam aurora blades as you want, switch that off, melee attack a couple of minions a few times, and boom, you're back to full mana. Banishes her too. At her ground target location, Freya banishes her enemies into the air for a short time. The enemies cannot be hit or take action while in the air. This is a great way to escape or just close in around a certain enemy and just really isolate that fight. Great, great ability. Lastly, we have her ultimate, Valkyrie's Discretion. Freya uses her Cloak of Feathers to fly above the battlefield where she then fires down Blast of Magical Damage up to four times. Freya can't be hit while at full ascension and can cancel it at any time. And it, it's basically just four real quick blasts of damage while you kind of are flying above everybody else. It lasts for 3.6 seconds. All right, let's get into this gameplay. So, guys, we've been able to push down this T1 at just so fast into this game. And one of the issues with that is we're going to miss out on a lot of farm. And not, not to say you should not push a lane as fast as you can to try to take out that tower, because that does open you up, but only being just about three minutes into the game, you're going to miss out on an absolute ton of farm, especially if the enemy team decides to just completely slow farm. You're going to have to get out of position to really make, to really get the necessary funds you need to buy more items. So that is one thing about taking out towers so fast, but another thing is if you look at the enemy team, they're full of melee gods. They have no range gods and we're really able to take advantage of that. You can see we've we've shut down Daji a couple of times now and they're Ymir, they're, he's not gonna be able to do a whole lot. You can see I'm backing off because really we don't necessarily need to stay in and push this lane, but if Capri's going to stay here and kind of take this farm, I need to stay here and make sure to get this farm. And with my passive, you can see we're, we're, we're staying very, very healthy, and as soon as a minion wave gets closer to us, we'll be able to heal up and get all of our mana back. Now, once we get minions into that tower, Capri actually 
chases down Ymir, and we're able to take that out, but I'm going to instantly back, and unfortunately, Capri's not going to be able to do a whole lot there. We're five minutes into the game, past the T2. Guys, that is a very, very risky, and I don't recommend doing that. You want to get your farm, and if you're constantly pushing that wave that far, the enemy team is either going to quit pushing it, robbing you of farm, you know, slow farm it, in a sense, robbing you of farm, or you're constantly going to be rotated on when you're trying to get that. So it's much better to let that wave push it back out and farm up, especially being this early into the match. You can see I'm having to rotate through the jungle, everything like that to get the farm that I need. From here, let's go ahead and drop purple for Capri and then get to lane, get this wave of farm. And then guys, we're, we're six minutes in and we're already clearing lanes. Uh, uh, Freya really needs some attention, but you can see the damage we're getting on Daji, and we're going to be able to take her out just easy peasy. And you can see we're we're not really slowed down by that Ymir's wall because, you know, hey, we're, we're flying and we're actually able to take him out. It, that's huge. And again, we're keeping that pressure up. It, it's one part of it is we're very, very strong. It, right now, Freya is a very, very strong god to deal with. It but the enemy team also does not have range to deal with. So Ymir's got to get close to me. And with me having my ultimate, you know, he can't really wall me off in certain areas, things like that. We're able to severely punish the enemy team. And with Daji still only being four, she doesn't even have her ultimate yet. Now, getting a T2 at seven minutes in is insane, guys, but let's go ahead, try to keep this pressure up. We're gonna head down mid lane, and you can see we go into this tower. We're, we're just gonna focus on the wave. We're not too concerned about the tower. I don't know about Bacchus. He ends up ulting right there, which, you know, he doesn't even have a whole lot of minions either. Uh, you know, that, that was just a, I guess he was trying to chase me off, I'm not sure. Check out the damage on this stuff, guys. That, that's, that's like a, that's, that's like a 20% hit at, at, at seven minutes into the match with only one real item on, that, that's absolutely crazy. But we're gonna hopefully keep this pressure up, guys. That's what we wanna do with them having three assassins, you know, a Mercury rotation or a Daji getting her ultimate on me and without bead, something like that. That that could instantly kill me if I don't have my ultimate or anything like that. So we wanna keep pressure up and try to shut them down as quickly as possible. Sure enough, we're able to take it down that T1. Mercury shows up, let's whoop him, get out of there. You know, don't do not deal with Mercury. Uh, he probably couldn't take me out right now, but why risk it? Then we're gonna actually collapse as a team onto Gold Fury, able to take it out. We then pick up Oracles. I'm gonna, guys, I've got 3,000 gold. Like, it, it's not even 10 minutes in and I'm already stacking up 3,000 gold in my bank before, <laughs> uh, crazy. But we're gonna then head over to our solo lane, and guys, this is one reason right here that that Freya just right now I I I, I they overtuned her a little bit. Now here's Capri. You know I am a few levels above Capri, so you know we we are able to do work. But look at this, we get him to half health before he even knows what hit him. And, you know he he wasn't able to do anything. We kill him right there and and. We're able to just chase him down, even with him using that run. You know, once once we get a little bit more mana, I go ahead and pop my mana potion. And we're able to take him down. Look at that, guys. Uh, uh, at at ten minutes in, a level eleven Freya is unstoppable. You know, it it it, it it's crazy. And we're just gonna shove this T two here in our in our solo lane, because there's not a whole lot people can do to stop me at this point. And check this out, when the wave finally does show up, we're gonna go ahead, we take one tower hit, we charge up our, we one shot an entire wave. It, 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 we're, we're already unstoppable. You know, there, there, there's really no god out there that can one shot an entire wave at, you know, less than 10 minutes in, except for you. It, it's absolutely nuts. Once we down this T2, Capri actually shows up to try to defend this in, in guys, uh, he, he, he made a mistake <laughs> where we're able to just do so much damage to him. He ends up charging right there and we go ahead and ult, take him out. Crazy guys, that just, just crazy, crazy damage. Mercury shows up, which we do have to be careful of Mercury, but with us having this minion wave, it you see our art able to slow him down. We, we chip him down pretty good, but let's get out of this situation. Let's rotate, see if we can help out elsewhere. 
Sure enough, we head to mid lane and there's Bakasura. Let's go ahead and whoop him. And then we've got to melee him a couple of times to get some mana back. And then we're going to hit him with our one. Look at that, guys. That was, that was like a 40% hit right there. Oh, man. Uh, we hurt. We hurt very bad. Capri is actually able to take out Bakasura there. Awesome. Let, let's go ahead and go into tower. And you can see we're not really... Your one doesn't do any bonus damage two towers like it used to. You know, Freya used to be able to empower her, you know, charges and actually do damage two towers with that. You can't anymore. But Mercury shows up, we're able to whoop him, get out of there, you know, luckily he did use his dash. He does have his ultimate, so we have to be careful of that. And we don't have our ultimate to avoid it, but luckily he didn't have that ultimate, so good deal. Now, our rat and our Hades are kind of cut out here, and I'm pretty low. It wouldn't take much to kill me. I'm going to head in, and okay, Hades is probably about to use his ultimate. Let's go ahead and get on the other side of Capri. So we do have a front line. You know, we've got that little bit of protection. You can see Capri actually does a great job there. You know, we're, we're able to take out Mercury. We're able to take out Daji. I'm going to go ahead and chase down Ymir here. Hopefully, we can actually grab him. I'm going to try to whoop him. There's our whoop. Let's get to the other side of him. Kind of body block him. Sure enough, we're able to take him out. Easy peasy, guys. And then this fight is still going on. These staggered, this staggered team fight, awesome for us. Let's go ahead. Head in on Bakasura. Look at that damage, guys. Uh, it, it didn't stand a chance. The enemy Capri is here. Let's go ahead and go in on him get a sweet double kill you know that that's a team wipe that is a staggered team wipe right there you know awesome play by my team now with that team fight in all of our lanes pushing as good as they are let's go ahead and get that mid lane tower in i'm gonna go ahead and back off let let let's let's start upgrading some items let's get blink online you know uh, which aegis is always a good choice especially with your squishier gods but you know we've kind of ran away with this it's 24 to 4 so you know i'm not too worried about that let's go ahead head over to this team fight Bakasura did not stand a chance. <laughs> Freya's... Uh, I'm still blown away with how much damage Freya actually has. But we're able to take out Bakasura. You know, we're again, we're keeping that team staggered. It's just Mercury and Capri up right now. And we get that stun on Mercury. Uh, I didn't have my two on right there. That is unfortunate, but no problem at all. Let's go ahead and take out this Phoenix. And, you know, hey, we're, we're getting a Phoenix at 15 minutes in. This is great. My team is doing absolutely awesome here. Now, Hades ends up going in right there, and I'm like, okay, well, you know, hey, th it's time to fight. I'm going to focus on Ymir. Sure enough, we're able to take out Ymir. Bakasura and Daji show up. Let let's go ahead and try to get them out. Then Mercury dashes. Oh, we got to be very, very careful. Let's go ahead and basic and take out. We end up taking out Daji, but we got enough mana there. Uh, Mercury's here. Let's try to get Mercury down, and sure enough, we're able to take out Mercury. Awesome play. Awesome play. Guys, we're, we're keeping them on a staggered team wipe at this point. You know, it's, it's, we're, this is great. This fight we've got in both the last fight and this fight have basically been team wipes and then some. This is great. We're going to be able to push into this mid lane Phoenix and, oh man, we've just ran away with it, guys. Now we try to pick up the mid lane Phoenix, but we only get it to half health and then it's time to go play Robin Hood. Let's run into the jungle. Pick up, pick up the enemy camps and then get away. <laughs> That's exactly what we do. Let's head back to base, put on some more items, and guys, uh, we're, we've completely ran away. It's 20, 30 now to 6. We're going to head over to this team fight. Check this out, guys. And right here, we want to focus on Mercury. He stunned himself. When he uses his dash, he stuns himself, and he's a very easy target for ranged gods. And sure enough, we're able to absolutely delete him. We head over to Daji and... Um, I, I didn't need to even waste my time going over there with that Hades ultimate followed up by Rat just teeing off. Oh man, easy peasy kill. Let's finally head into this mid lane Phoenix and be able to take it out. I'm just going to go in uh, with my amount of heals. You know, I'm not too worried about taking a little bit of tower poke. And guys, you can see this. We're actually healing off of that tower as well because again, your basics heal you. Any successful basic attack heals you. It's... It, it, it's, it's pretty gnarly, but we are just doing tons of damage. No, I'm going to leave that. I'm, I'm unhealthy. I don't have any mana. I cannot really help my team in, in pushing forward, but I can head over to this minion wave. And guys, look, we're, we're, 
We're just healing up, getting that mana, and then we're gonna start hitting them with that too. And, you know, we're we're getting mana, and then now we're getting health. It, awesome. You know, look at the stain of the sustain of Freya, guys. It, it, it it's absolutely crazy. Now, I haven't used Blink all game, but that's about to change. We're gonna blink over this yellow wall and right into the middle of these enemies, guys. Uh, I don't know how Hades went down there, but he went down. We're able to take out Daji, and then Mercury steps into a trap. Oh, man. He's a goner. We're going to chase down both this Capri and Ymir, who are at nothing. They're both so low. I'm going to go ahead and ult for that extra little range, and we're able to take out Capri there, and that's it. That's going to wrap it up, guys. What a fun match. It was definitely unbalanced, but it was a good match all in all. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed, and if you did, show me some love, leave me a comment, think about subscribing, and as always, I'll see y'all in the next video. Thanks. Ooh.